subtract the following rational expressions x squared plus 5x over x plus 3 by x plus 4 minus 3x plus 8 over x plus 3 by x plus 4. So these two rational expressions already have a common denominator, so we don't have to find the common denominator and build up the fractions. So what we can do is we can write this as a single fraction with the common denominator. And what I, would write, what I would recommend that we do here is put the subtraction here in the middle, put the first numerator in quantity and the second numerator in quantity. Now, well, I think this is important, especially this quantity, these quantities uh, symbols, these parentheses on the second uh, numerator, because we have to remember that this subtraction distributes through the entire second quantity. So we would have x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 8 over the denominator x plus 3 by x plus 4. Simplifying the numerator gives x squared plus 2x minus 8, and the denominator is x plus 3 by x plus 4. All right, so now we have to be careful again because, well, that x squared plus 2x minus 8 can factor using techniques we learned in a previous chapter. x squared plus 2x plus 8 factors as x minus 2 by x plus 4. The denominator is still x plus 3 by x plus 4, and we can remove the common factor of x plus 4, leaving x minus 2 over x plus 3. The second exercise is a little bit tougher because we have to find the LCD for these uh, fractions, for these rational expressions. So the first denominator factors as x minus 3 by x minus 4, and the second denominator factors as x minus 3 by x plus 7. So then the LCD would be x minus 3, x minus 4, x plus 7. Let's build in the factors appropriately. The first fraction has the x minus 3 and the x minus 4. Let's build in the x plus 7 in the denominator and numerator. The second fraction is missing the x minus 4, so we build it in in the denominator and numerator. All right, so we would have 5x squared plus 35x plus 2x plus 37x plus 14 over the common denominator. Subtract 2x minus 7 by x minus 4, that's a 2x squared minus 8 minus 7, that's a minus 15x plus 28. And the denominator is x minus 3 by x minus 4 by x plus 7. So now, I can write that as the single fraction, 5x squared plus 37x plus 14 subtract 2x squared minus 15x plus plus 28 over the common denominator x minus 3 by x minus 4 by x plus 7. Rewriting that numerator and remembering to distribute the subtraction through the entire second quantity. 5x squared plus 37x plus 14 minus 2x squared plus 15x minus 28. And the denominator is x minus 3 by x minus 4 by x plus 7. Combining like terms now, 3x squared plus 37 plus 15, that's a plus 52x, 
plus 14 minus 28 is a minus 14 over x minus 3 by x minus 4 by x plus 7. Now, we should check to see if, that den if the numerator can factor. So can we factor the 3x squared plus 52x minus 14? Um, and it turns out we can't, so we're done.